Good morning and welcome to Old St. Mary's here in person or joining us online. Today is the memorial of St. Benedict. Our entrance antiphon is, There was a man of venerable life, Benedict, blessed by grace and by name, who leaving home and patrimony and desiring to please God alone, sought out the habit of holy living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Well, as mentioned, this is the memorial of St. Benedict, one of the biggies, who basically, more than 1,500 years ago, established a way of religious communities to live that is still used very much today by millions and millions of people around the world, we offer a special prayer today for our own director of lifelong faith formation, James Holzauer Chukas, who is a Benedictine oblate. Let us take a moment to recognize that our God is a God of love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, you made the abbot St. Benedict an outstanding master in the school of divine service. Grant that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. And the more I called them, the further they went from me, sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms, drew them with human cords, and bands of love. I fostered like one, I fostered them like one who raised an infant to his cheek. And yet though I stopped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed, my pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not man. The Holy One present among you, I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see, see your face, face, Lord, and we shall be saved. saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
My friends, the Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, Go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. Earlier in the 21st century, there was a Benedictine community in New Mexico that was kind of early to doing some cool things on the internet, and a lot of people really got into the web services they were providing, and the money was rolling in, and the monks had all this work, and it was great, and then one day they just shut it down. They said, this is messing up our balance of life. We are Benedictines. We work and we pray. And the work is getting so much that it is messing up our prayer. I still find that story very hard to live out. But St. Benedict really took the ideas of what it was necessary to live and provide and to live in community and to spend time with God in developed this rule that has worked pretty well for lots of people for over 1,500 years. He is not the first founder of a religious community. That would be St. Anthony, at least 200 years before him, I believe. But that was probably a little too rough, a little too aesthetic for a lot of people. And now, I don't know if anybody here in the room is a Benedictine, but there is something about finding balance in life. But for those of you watching online or here in person, if you're making time for daily Mass, you probably have some sense of that balance. So let us give thanks for Benedict, who really gave us this idea of we can live full lives and have families and have important jobs and still find time for God have that rhythm where we don't just pray when we think about it, but we find a way to incorporate it, incorporate it into our routine. And who knows? Maybe that will help us all to cure demons, heal the sick, and we can all proclaim the gospel, even by our act of just walking in and off the street on a business day to pray. We stand and offer our prayers. We pray for the church and its leaders that we and they may find balance between ministry and praising God. We pray to the Lord. For all political leaders at the local, state, national, and international level, that they may find and continue to uphold a preferential option for the poor. We pray to the Lord. 
once again for all those who are inspired by the life and the rule of St. Benedict, including our own director of lifelong faith formation, James Holtzarachukas. We pray to the Lord. For those who are unemployed, underemployed, hungry, suffering from homelessness, abused, addicted, trafficked, that we may see them, that we may rescue them, that we may advocate for a world where such tragedies do not exist. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, those suffering in body, mind, or spirit, that they may experience the healing presence of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For Matthew Egan, for whom there is an intention for this Mass, we pray to the Lord. And for all those who have died, that they may see the face of God, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, through saints like Benedict, you show us new ways to mirror and reflect your Son in our world, in this day, in this time, with the personalities that you have given us. Help us to grow ever more closely to you as we ask you to grant these prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Lord, look kindly upon these holy offerings, which we make in honor of St. Benedict, and grant that by following his example in seeking you, we may receive the gifts of unity in your service, in your service and of peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitudes of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring the church to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all your church, including those who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, St. Mary of Magdala, St. Phoebe, St. Oscar Romero, and St. Benedict, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the church peace and unity in accordance with your will. We ask this, Lord Jesus, for you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. O Lord, O Lord, having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you that attentive to the teaching of St. Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A few announcements. The first one is that starting tomorrow, we are having a novena for, okay, let's see if I get the name right, San Pedro Kalungsat, who is the second uh, saint from the Philippines of Saint of the Youth, and since 2013, Old St. Mary's has been designated as a shrine for that. So we'll have um, the, the prayer after uh, a novena prayer after mass daily masses it's going to be at other times on saturday and sunday it's posted in the bulletin and on a poster out there and then next saturday at 9 a.m on the 20th we will have a special memorial mass by our own new filipino priest not that it will always be that way at nine o'clock and then probably still uh working out the details that same day 
probably around noon, not finalized yet, we will have a funeral for Yvonne Montgomery, who used to serve um, in the front office, who died a few days ago. We pray for the entire Montgomery family. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go and proclaim the love of God by loving and serving one another.